Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the joint is fastened together using two bolts. Determine the required diameter of the bolts. If the failure shear stress for the bolts is 350 megapascal, use a factor of safety for a shear of 2.5. So as you guys can see that here we have two bolts and on this plate 80 kN force is applied on these two plates we have 40 kN plates, uh, 40 kN forces are applied. So since we want to find um, the diameter of the bolt for the failure shear stress of 350 MPa and factor of safety of 2.5 uh, so what we will do is that we will focus on the forces which are applied on the bolts. So as you guys can see that if we draw the side view diagram of this um, joint then we can see that 80 kN force is, is going to act in this direction and 40 kN force is acting in this direction. So since we have two bolts then this 80 kN force um, is carried out by two bolts right. So as we can see that if we consider the single bolt then here 80 kN, uh, the half of the 80 kN force is taken by the single bolt, right. So that the, the total 80 kN force is carried out by the two bolts, right. So if we are considering one bolt, then we will having um, 80 divided by 2 kN force. And similarly for this plate, since this plate is uh, applying 40 kN force and this plate is applying 40 kN force. So half half of this 40 kN force is taken by one bolt and half of this 40 kN force is taken by another bolt. So if we are considering the single bolt then we can say that 40 divided by 2 kN force is taken by this single bolt. So 40 divided by 2 kN. So now as you guys can see that uh, we have a bolt. Now let me erase all these. So this is our bolt diagram and these are the forces which are applied on the bolt. So now since we want to find the diameter we have to pass a cutting section since we want to find we want to apply the shear stress formula. So first of all we are given that the factor of safety is 2.5. So we can say that factor of safety is equal to shear failure divided by shear allowable and this is equal to 2.5. Now we are given shear failure we can say that shear allowable is equal to shear failure divided by 2.5 and now shear failure is 350 into 10 raised to the power 6 Pascal which is Newton per meter square divided by 2.5. So this will give us 350 divided by 2.5 this gives us 140. So we can say that the allowable shear is equal to 140 megapascal. Let me write it like this 140 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal is Newton per meter square. Now as we know that since um, we are considering single bolt so this allowable shear stress uh, will be equal to shear force divided by the cross-sectional area and since the bolt is in circular shape then the cross-sectional area will be pi divided by 4 d square and we want to find that diameter of the bolt. So in order to find the shear force what we need to do is that we need to part a, uh, we need to pass a cutting section somewhere here or we can pass a cutting section here. So it's up to you guys. I'm going to pass a cutting section here, and then I'm going to consider the lower part of the cutting of the cut section. So we will have the free body diagram like this. This will be my free body diagram. If I pass a cutting section here, let's say if I pass a cutting section here, then I will have 40 divided by 2 kilonewton force acting here and then we will have the shear force here. And now if considering this free body diagram if we apply the sum of the forces in the x 
that must be equals to 0 towards the right is our positive x then we can say that plus v minus 40 divided by 2 is 20 kilonewton this is equal to 0 let me write it is v minus 40 divided by 2 v is equal to 40 divided by 2 and v is equal to 20 kilonewton now the shear force which is acting on the cross section of the bolt is 20 kilonewton now using this equation we can find d square so we can write from this equation we can say that v is 20 kilonewton so 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 pi divided by 4 d square equals to 140 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 newton per meter square this force shear force is in newton as well and this d we want to have this d in meters right so now you guys can see that newton will cancel out and if i cross multiply both side are with d square so we will have the equation like this this will be d square multiplied by d square so our equation will look like this d square will cancel out from this side And now from this we can say that d square if we divide both side by this so we will have d square equals to 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 pi divided by 4 into 140 into 10 raised to the power 6 and 1 divided by meter square will become meter square and since we want to find d we have to take the square roots on both side of equation then we will be able to find d so d is equal to 20 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 divided by pi divided by 4 multiplied by 140 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 this gives me dia equals to 0 0.0135 approximately and this will be in meters and if you if you want to write this in millimeters then we can say that one meter is equal to thousand millimeters so if you multiply it with thousand then dia must be equals to 13.49 let's see 13.49 mm So if you want to have the factor of safety equal to 2.5 and the failure shear stress on each bolt is 350 megapascal, then the dia of each bolt must be 13.49 mm. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.